Listen 
Because left to itself, we're nothing but seeds. Bury, die, we can become something so much more than we ever were before. God's love. It's not by coincidence, I think, that it's this very image that our true sacraments are centered on. Because it's in water, simple, ordinary water, that our old selves are drowned and we rise to new life. But sin is a good swimmer. So daily, we have to keep plunging ourselves back into those waters and saying, God forgives, God renews. That's the death we die that really matters. And when our bodies come to their end, that's, that's a secondary death. That's the death that's just a transitory dream for the life of the world. Because this is the death that undid the powers of death. And so too, at this altar, week after week, God comes to us in ordinary form. And I don't think it's coincidental that God chose bread and wine. Bread. Fruit of the grain that must be crushed, must be kneaded, pounded, and somehow, with a little heat, a little time, bread that sustains, verse 4. Ordinary, everyday bread. Every culture in the world eats some kind of bread. And why? God took grapes, good as they are, but crush them, put them in a bottle of grapes, and oh, it's something so much better. <laughs> Wine. Festival drink, which gladdens the heart, right? But something had to be destroyed for something better to come forward. God shows us his plan for us, is that we would be empty. We, our old selves, even destroyed and buried in the ground, that God might raise up in us new life. For friends, we are people who are honest about death, 